Hello, my dear friends. I'm Corey, and this video marks the beginning of my squat army. Or I should say League of Votan, but technically speaking, the model that I'm going to paint are still technically squats, because I'm going to paint the Iron Head Squat Prospector team for Necromanda, which, again, in the name, they still call themselves squats. And this is the beginning of my squat army, because the League of Votan is finally out, and I'm not going to call them League of Votan, I'm still going to call them squats. My impression of this army is that I love them, they are actually my, one of my favorite armies, next to the Eldars. But still, there is a little problem with them, which is that I think that they are a little bit too, I don't know, futuristic? It's only that they use a very super advanced technology, which is something that, yeah, in the concept of dwarf, if we start to think about fantasy dwarf, it is actually accurate because, well, generally speaking, dwarf in a fantasy setting, they are the ones that invents a lot of strange machine. Warhammer Fantasy, for example, they had gyrocopters. So, yeah, they are actually a faction that use a lot of science, that is scientifically developed, that use a lot of machinery, and this translates well into Warhammer 40k, in which they are very, very scientifically developed, to the point that they use weapons that not even the Tau <laughs> managed to have. Or maybe the Tau got those weapon because of the Demiurgs, which are technically squat. I, I, I don't know, but yet they use very, very developed weapon and they're very futuristic faction. And this, to me, doesn't sound quite right, not because it's bad in and of itself, but just because, in my mind, I was thinking about League of Votan to be a little bit more reminiscent of what the squats were during the Rogue Trader period. And so, the Iron Head Squad Prospector team, which is not very developed because they are in Necromanda, so I don't think that they have all the resources that the actual League of Votan have, their weapons and armors are, like, not very developed. So, I decided that those with also the Earth King Warriors, are going to be my troop choice. And also, I needed something to use as a test because I have a color scheme in mind, which is a very special color scheme, but I wanted to see if with this new model works well. So, let's go on the hobby table so that I can show you how I painted the Iron Head Squad Prospectors or my League of Votan Earthkin Warriors. My squads. What you're looking at right now is the original box of the Space Dwarves from the first edition of Warhammer 40k Rogue Traders. And it's also my reference for the color scheme of my League of Votan slash Squats army. I've primed the miniatures with a red primer, except for the helmets, which I've primed in white, keeping them separated from the bodies. By using a red primer, we can both prime and base coat the miniatures, since the armors of the Space Dwarf is predominantly red. The other color that takes most of the paint scheme is a beautiful dark green. I've painted the suits under the armors and the trench coats that a couple of models were wearing with this color. The gloves and the boots were painted in a light beige color and a belt and strap in black, and that creates a nice contrast between the red and the green. What I am trying to show you here, with the wrongest camera angle that you'll ever see on a miniature painting channel, is me painting the belt buckle in yellow. Maybe with this model the yellow will be more visible. Then the last thing to base coats are the weapons and the backpacks, with a nice metallic color. I've also painted magazines, or at least what I think are the magazines, with a copper paint. The helmets are, let's just say, personalized. In the box art, all the dwarves have different colored hats and helmets. 
Some are white, some are green, yellow, black, and some are even colored in a light bluish gray. For this one, I've opted for a rich yellow color and the little details like the nape joint on the back and the light on the helmet, I painted respectively a black color and a metallic one. These are all the other helmets that I've painted. Now it's just a matter of Hagi lighting all the parts of the model by mixing a bit of ivory color with all the paints that I have previously used. Then I wash the entire model by mixing in equal parts washes and water. This technique is my way to speed paint a lot of models. It allows me to paint a lot of miniatures to a nice standard without having to sacrifice the general quality of the paint job. The only thing I put a little more effort into are the skin tones, particularly faces, and the metallics. For the metallic, I generally wash them with a black or brown wash, depending on the type of metal that I'm working with, and then I gently dry brush them until they look good and shiny. The last thing to do in order to give to the models a more realistic look is to weather them by tapping the miniatures with a little piece of foam previously dipped in a dark brown paint. This is a great way to give a lot of realism to a miniature with a very low effort. And this is my Iron Head Squat Prospector's team. For the base I've used a grey texture paint to simulate a moon scenario, but I'm not very convinced, I might change it in the near future. Now, since I have some old squats miniatures from Rogue Trader, let's see how much the new squats have been scaled up. Um. Oh boy, they look more like hobbits than dwarfs now. <laughs> the upscaling wasn't merciful with the poor rogue trader squats. But it gets better with the unreleased test model for the squats that were supposed to be released for the second edition of Warhammer 40k. They were already upscaled back then, and it seems that the proportion are just perfect. But it is a shame, in my opinion. I would have loved to bring my old squats to the table. Not that I can't, of course, but it's too obvious that they are from ages ago. At least the new models are great, and after all, I'm happy with the squats have managed to come back from the oblivion that GW put them in years ago. And I can't wait to see what they'll come up with for the new models they'll come out. Hopefully, in the future. So my friends, thank you very much. I hope you liked this video and let me know down in the comment if you are planning to start the League of Votan, to start collecting the League of Votan, if you like the army. In my opinion, they are cool. I, I'm incredibly happy that finally we can play squats again in Warhammer 40k. Just as I said, I don't like them being too much like the Tau with all the super scientific and futuristic thing, weapons and machinery and AI that they have. But still, I think they are a very cool faction. And I'm so happy that I finally started and also that the paint scheme that I choose is great. I'm so happy with this new color scheme. Can't wait to paint an entire army. I still have to decide how to paint the bikes, the hackathons, because technically those vehicles during the Rogue Trader uh, era or even in the game Epic weren't painted with that color scheme. I don't know, I remember for example the land train being, being completely green with gold with gold scattered around gold trim things and I don't I don't know I have to still see how to how to paint those things but anyway 
I like this color scheme. Can wait to start a new army. Can wait to have the new models that will come out in October. I actually managed to got the limited edition box set with 20 Earth King Warriors, three bikes, a Kal and an Einir Champion. And I will start with those and can wait for the rest. So again, let me know down in the comment, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more videos here on my channel. Down in the description, you will also find a link to my Instagram and my coffee if you want to support me. You don't have to, keep the money for yourself, but if you really want to support me and give me a hand, just maybe donate a dollar, but you don't have to, absolutely not. Keep it for yourself, more model for you. Anyway, my friends, I'm Corey. Thank you very much. This is the end of the video and I hope to see you the next time. Ciao, ciao.